Welcome back, everybody, to the Worms Reloaded March series here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed episode number one. We're about to get underway with episode number two with Deathwish 808 and a load of crap. Once again, locking horns and doing a battle in the arena. Let's have a quick recap of the current league standards and a load of crap has taken the early lead here. He's taken the win in the previous series of matches with that four worm bonus. It's a really impressive start from a load of crap. Really looking to take it to Deathwish 808 in this series it seems. But um, we'll have to wait and see to see if Deathwish can pull it back in this. Maybe he's not happy with a load of crap and maybe he will... Uh, Eat in to that deficit of five points. But without further ado, the action's about to get started, so let's head on over and see what unfolds. So here we go. It's an inside map for match number one here. And um, the game is currently deciding who is going to get us underway in this confrontation. It is the reigning, or the leader, sorry, of the current series, A Load of Crap. Let's see how he is going to open up here. I have to say, everyone is pretty open uh, in this map, which could lead to some good carnage along the way. The barrels and mines seem to be pretty evenly spread across the map as well. So um, it'll be interesting to see what happens here as a load of crap gets us underway with a nice little grenade toss down into Deathwish's pit there, causing the 45 damage and um, a good chunk to get us underway. And... As we've seen in previous games, it's mainly been a load of craps worms, which have been isolated. But uh, right off the bat there, a load of crap decided to isolate one of Deathwish's worms. Deathwish here, I think he's going to go for a worm near a mine. He has two options, one in center and one on left. Probably going to go for the one on the left, if I had to guess. Looks like he is lining the bazooka up just nicely. Let's see what he can do. The worm has triggered the mine, but the mine has fallen down. The worm is relatively safe. I say relatively safe as the explosion of that mine does actually bring a load of crap's worm down to death, which is level for a total of 52 damage right there. Good opening shot, and Deathwish takes the lead in the health stakes early on here. A load of crap now gets to retaliate with that worm. And it uh, looks like he's trying to get on top of Deathwish's worm. Maybe to do a backflip on top of the bottle, maybe. Let's see. Or maybe he's just doing that to uh, get a grenade down there. Not really sure. He has decided to uh, go a separate way this time around. He looks to have the bazooka out. He's an, it's a, a good shot. None of the mines on the other side of that bottle are dislodged. And a direct hit entails 45 damage for that worm of Deathwish 808. Deathwish now has the central play in the map here. Will he go to the... I think he's going to go to the worm on the left. I was going to say the right. That's going to be catastrophic. That mine is going to drop down onto Deathwish's worm there. And uh, it was relatively low when it was bouncing when it went off. So he's going to have big damage there. 32 on his own worm. 45 for the direct shot on a load of craps worm. I thought Deathwish would perhaps play for the worm on the right. There was It was a lot safer and there was pretty much no room for um, damage to his own worms there. But uh, now a load of crap gets to play with that worm. And gets to move it out of the danger of those mines and barrels here. Like we're going to see just a nice little grenade shot, I think, over the top of the barrel and to roll down the, the back of that worm. Although he is changing his mind, he's he's deciding which way to go here. But a nice grenade shot at the back of this worm here would, uh, would go nicely. Over halfway through the turn here. Oh, the crap really needs to think about making a decision. He seems really undecisive as we're in the final 10 seconds of the shot. Really needs to hurry this up. Finally pulls out the grenade. Five seconds on the timer, and I think he's going to damage himself there. That's a that's a big blow for a load of crap. I'm not really sure why he dropped his worm down there, unless it was by accident. Um, 37 damage for his worm, 47 on Deathwish, and Deathwish now with that worm gets to go next. And um, you have to say that these two worms are now solidly rooted to this right-hand side as. Death Wish 808 with the direct bazooka shot there, taking out 45 damage from a load of crap's worm. 
And you have to think in this right. confrontation, Deathwish is going to uh, come out on top between those two worms. Yep. All right. so Moving back towards the center here, a load of crap with his uh, one remaining 100 health worm here. Looking to bring Deathwish's 100 worm down a few HP. He's lining up the shot here with the bazooka. Get some explosive damage as well. And I think a mine. There was a mine that went flying over to his own worm to take his own worm out. That was uh, an interesting shot. And that's our first fatality of the match. I thought there would be more damage on Deathwish's middle worm there that he attacked. Um, being so close to them, explosive bar barrels. Deathwish got quite lucky with the fire dancing there and, and not taking too much fire damage. But ultimately, it was the mine across the... Uh, other side which damaged his own worm back with Deathwish 808 now with this worm on the uh, in the pit not really a lot of options he's got it's, it's almost reminiscent of the restrictive angles that a load of crap had in the uh, the last match of uh, the previous video the action from the 1st of March where he threaded the eye of the needle let's see what Deathwish can do pretty good <laughs> shot double damage there on the worms it, oh. it just it just wasn't quite parallel to the worm, but a good effort nonetheless, damaging both the worms. I'm sure uh, Deathwish will be happy with that twofer. A load of crap, I think, is now going to have this central worm to play for. Nope, it's the one on the brolly. Okay. But uh, let's see what he's going to do here. I think he's going to try and finish off this worm behind him. He does indeed. The grenade is land on him, and that worm is out of here. We are back to a three on three scenario. Uh, I'm sure Deathwish is going to be pretty happy with that in, in the long run because it gets rid of that worm with that restrictive position. A load of crap retakes the lead in the health stakes here for the map match. Sorry. But uh, Deathwish here looking to inflict almost all of the damage here on a load of crap. A good hit direct. 45 reducing that worm down to 3. And you got to say, it's only going to be a matter of time before that worm is out of here for a load of crap as Deathwish retakes the lead. I think it's that three worm to go next, is it? It sure is. We're just going to see a retaliation strike here. A load of crap could get lucky with this. If he could put a hole in that bottle and dislodge one of their mines, it could roll back onto Deathwish. That is indeed what has happened. Both the mines. There we go. What a shot from a load of crap. Let's grab another look at that one on an instant replay. Clever play there from a load of crap. Hitting a gap in that bottle. I'm making not just one, but both of those mines roll down. And Deathwish's worm really did not stand a chance there. He gets damage from both of those mines. And that worm is out of the game. Back to the action now with a load of crap. A three on two advantage against Deathwish 808. Let's see what Deathwish can now do as he gets to play with his central worm. The only saving grace here for Deathwish is that both his remaining worms are on the right hand side of the map. And... Although it's not a difficult shot, there is definitely no easy shot here for a load of crap to target these two worms. So he definitely has an amount of safety here. But let's see what he decides to do as he uses the uh, bazooka there to knock down a load of crap's worms. That's definitely going to help him, like I say, uh, positional, positionally, if I can learn to speak, um, because it reduces a load of crap's options to Deathwish 808 but you know we've got to remember back to that previous match um, on the 1st of March there where a load of crap pulled out an astonishing shot to thread the eye of the needle and uh, not just once but twice to pull off the match winning shot. He manages to get his worm a little bit higher though here and that's definitely going to help out as he pulls out the bazooka just I think you'll see a little arch shot over the top of this golf shoe aimed at Deathwish's 66 worm we do indeed and a straight onto a mine as well. Can you believe this? Deathwish is going to be down to one single worm. 102 damage there. Massive overkill from a load of crap. And we are three on one. We are three on one. Although a load of crap is certainly not out of the woods of Terza Danger. He has two worms here, which are certainly in one, one shot range. So Deathwish only needs to get, get some shots within close proximity 
we can easily reduce the count as that's a brilliant uh, arched shot there from Deathwish808. Direct hit, maximum damage 45, bringing a load of Crap's Worm down to 42, leaving him with 72 health in total. A load of uh, Deathwish808 only with 53. So, in terms of health, it's pretty close together. And you have to say, though, in a three on one situation like this, Deathwish probably has high ground because he knows that his that he knows the same worm gets to go each time whereas a load of crap uh, the worms only get a turn one every three so you can really hone in on where you're shooting and making sure that you are accurate if Deathwish can pull off another uh, accurate shot like the previous one that's definitely going to bring it down to a two on one the only obviously variable in that whole thing is the wind there's a load of crap here almost down to ten on the shot clock really undecided what he wants to do here he's got the bazooka out and uh, he's just clearing debris, left a few pixels there, but uh, I think he's trying to open up that area so that he can have a better shot at Deathwish's worm on the right hand side here. So let's see what Deathwish can do. Can he follow up that previous shot? Uh, well, he can't use the bazooka, that's for sure. The wind is against him by four. He throws a grenade. It's a two-second timer. That was almost perfect. The bounce. And then it just was lofting, lofting, lofting. Didn't quite get close enough, though, to a load of crap central worm. And uh, But that's good knowledge for Deathwish because uh, I think now it's a load of crap's left-hand worm. It sure is. So he's got another free shot at that um, central worm of a load of crap before he gets to have another turn. A load of crap here. Got some uh, needle threading to do if he's going to look to do this. He's got to be very careful that he doesn't hit the brolly where his 42 worm is. Um, I don't really think he's going to make... There we go. Look, he's, he's done exactly that. And he's really put that worm out in a dangerous situation. And uh, Deathwish is going to almost be uh, so close to him on health. A load of crap now down to 59. Deathwish 53 in total. But can Deathwish now loft a grenade into that pit where a load of crap has just put his worm into? I honestly thought I was surprised with the shot as the Deathwish's shot hits the ceiling and just bounces down. I was really surprised because I, I was adamant, actually, that um, what happened was going to happen. I thought that uh, using the bazooka was a, a massive risk there for a load of crap and that he would damage that top worm as he did. So um, let's see what he can do here, though. Um, like I said before, we, we know full well that he's pretty good at threading the eye of the needle. What's he going to go for here? I don't think, surely he's not going to go for a bazooka shot. I, I, don't, I know he's got four wind with him going towards Deathwish, but I don't think it's strong enough to bring it down enough to, uh, no, it wasn't strong enough. Maybe he's just looking to open up that um, alcove. Um, so planning for the future possibly. Who knows, but uh, Deathwish now back with this worm. What can he do? Have eight minutes left on the clock, and if a load of crap's worm had have still been there, that would have been curtains for that worm. It would have been dead and in the drink. So uh, it was wise of a load of crap to move his worm out of the way in that um, instance. But uh, at the minute, we're just seeing a lot of cross map plays, and I'm not really sure who is going to come out on top in this instance. So we will have to wait and see. A load of crap unluckily catches the ceiling there he i i thought he was going to hit some of those pixels but i don't know the the rocket seemed to travel straight through the pixels so obviously they um weren't affecting the uh the firepower too much there as deathwish tries to get a bit of high ground it's not working out for him i'm sure he's frantically calculating some angles and that's backfired slightly for a deathwish 808 and that opens up a water pit now down below if a load of crap can get a uh, explosive to go off around Deathwish's worm, that's going to drop him straight down into the drink, and that will be the win for a load of crap carrying on that momentum from the previous video. He's got the one win. Let's see what we can do here. The brolly is gone this time. And that is a mind sent hurtling over to Deathwish's side. That was a very good effort from a load of crap. Again, just scenery and uh, geometry in the way, stopping that shot there. But um, he's working his way ever so, ever so slowly. Deathwish 808 with a, almost a carbon copy from his previous shot. The grenade hits the scenery, bounces back down into that water pit, and that is going to go nowhere, my friend, unfortunately. 
Back to a load of crap here. He's got the wind totally against him here, so he's going to have to pull out the grenade to try and attack Deathwish 808's worm in this uh, very awkward and tight position here. What can he pull out from the bag? Let's have a look. It bounces. And that mine, there's still a mine in play. What's it going to do? Oh my goodness. That is something special. And a load of crap takes match number one here with, again, three worms remaining. Let's take an instant replay of that. Just when you think you have seen everything in the game of worms, it offers up something yet even more spectacular. The grenade shot directly on the mines and the barrels here flings the mine straight into the air. Then the mine is uncertain where it's going to go. It's bouncing off the scenery, and this is the crucial bounce here. It bounces in a correct arc all the way to Deathwish, which triggers the mine. But the mine's timer on one second has enough just to bounce under the water, bounce back up till it's parallel with Deathwish, and send him to a watery end as it explodes. What a way to finish off match number one here from the 2nd of March. What a way to finish up the match. I will try and run a poll, and uh, if there's no poll, please leave in the comments which shot you think was better, the ending shot from the last match of the March the 1st action, or that last shot right there from that match. Uh, I'll try and uh, put a comparison of the two in uh, the end of this video so you can see them both together but we are here with match number two we are inside once more and that's a good opening shot from Deathwish. the nice grenade shot onto the uh, causing the excess damage there the explosion and the mine so um good opening shot there reducing a load of craps worm down to 22 um this could be a long drawn out match uh these inside ones often are we seem to have one isolated worm that i can see at the moment and that one is death wishes um for once on that upper right hand area though he's pretty easy to, to dig out there so we'll see how that one comes into play as a load of crap bazookas uh death wishes high left worm there the direct shot for 45 damage maybe would have liked the worm to have slid off uh maybe even a bit further back onto that mine to incur that extra damage but i think Deathwish is going to be going all out here for um for a win he's not going to take any prisoners and i think we're going to be down quite early here to a four on three situation here he's got his bazooka out even with a four against him if he's only going for this worm here it's not really going to um affect it too much but he is swapping out to the grain he's not taking any chances here one second timer actually goes for the worm underneath the golf buggy um looking for a bit of extra damage there with the explosive which he does get and luckily for death wish though there is no extra damage from fire dancing in that instance but uh, still a 54 hit damage there on a load of craps worm and uh, two of his worms really aren't faring too well so far in this confrontation a load of crap with the wind going le right to left here um so plenty of opportunity here for a bazooka shot has to be very careful though if he's going to do this not to hit his own worm that's a little bit too high and i think he was sort of taking into account the fact that he could hit that 22 worm of his own with a bazooka shot there um and takes a bit of a safer angle but uh, it didn't pay off for him in the end death wish now with the isolated worm on the right hand side of the map here what's he gonna do he's got a grenade out maybe he's gonna put it behind the barrel no, he's gonna go higher he looks like he might be opening up a bit of a, an alcove there at the top, maybe to um, be able to go on the offensive with this worm in a couple of in a couple of matches, uh, a couple of turns time. But the the, the grenade actually gets stuck high on the right there, not where Deathwish would have wanted it to go. Got an awkward bounce off the top of the golf clubs and sent back towards the right rather than the left, and. Um, Death wish, uh, if his grand plan was to open that up, it certainly failed on that occasion. A load of crap now with the uh, worm again here on the central, his other central worm. Surely going to be attacking Deathwish's worm on the left once more. He's got the bazooka out. There is four wind against this worm in this shot, so take that into consideration. And that was just a little bit too much. Uh, almost gets a lucky uh, mine bounce there. The mine almost found its way into that little gap where Deathwish's 100 worm is sitting there, um, middle left. 
but uh, it wasn't to be. And now Deathwish can go on the retaliation with his high left worm here. At the golf tee worm there, that's big damage. Big, big damage. 45 in total. Wasn't a direct shot, but with the fall damage, it made it the equivalent of a direct shot. So, uh, yeah, a load of crap really struggling here um, to keep his worms uh, high health. Back to his low central worm here. Has an option of two. He has to be very careful of the worm near him that the mine doesn't kick back up towards him. But uh, he sends Deathwish's worm oh, yeah, over yeah, more yeah. towards the left hand side of the map. A direct hit and the extra one point for the fall damage as well. I have to say, though, a load of crap's worms are very vulnerable right in that position underneath that golf buggy. Um, and that's going to be the end of that one. Now, what impact is the death animation going to have here on a load of crap's own worms? Big damage, reducing them to 21 and 35. We're four on three in favor of Deathwish 808. But um, a load of crap there with 156 health compared to Deathwish, who has 309. There's almost Deathwish has almost twice as much health as a load of crap at this point in the game as the load of crap jumps out of the pit and will be looking to hit this worm next to this explosive barrel. The wind is against him though, so it's going to be an awkward shot with the bazooka. He switches it out to the grenade, quite rightly so, I think. I think that's the best play. Five second timer. I would assume he's going to go for the near worm. He does not though. The grenade sticks on the far side worm. Direct shot, 45 damage as he starts to chip away at that enormous health advantage that Deathwish has in this instance. Deathwish now though can chip away and take out another one of a load of crap's worms here to bring it down to a four on two. Um, even if he overshoots the shot, it can go and hit the one in down below the golf buggy. Ideally, what he would like to do is hit this 35, almost in a carbon copy of his previous shot. Hit this 35 worm with the bazooka, knock him down and take out the other one with a death animation. Let's see what happens. He goes long and I think he's actually missed all of the worms. He's gone too high on that golf buggy. And um, there was a big opportunity there for Deathwish to bring it down to a four on one situation there. Back up. To the right hand side of the map here, I think a load of crap's going to be trying to bring this worm out of the pit to try and avoid that situation that we just described and we thought Death should go for. He manages to backflip that worm out of there quite successfully. And now Deathwish could be seeing the end to one of his worms. Is he going to bazooka or is he going to grenade here? It's a bazooka shot. It's right on the barrel. That's going to be overkill as well, I think. And I think we are down. We are indeed two. A three on two situation, an extra 30 damage there from the uh, explosion by the barrel. And uh, we are back to level pegging in terms of worms on the field. Deathwish 808 once again was going to open up the gap. That is a fantastic shot. That is an absolutely fantastic shot. And just like we were talking about in the previous, the death animation here is going to finish off the second worm. And that is down to a three on one. Let's take another look at that on the action replay. Initially here, I thought Deathwish was going to open up that gap, but he managed to get the grenade just to slot down the side of this golf club, almost in a Plinko style, and it lands directly on a load of craps worm here. That sends a load of craps worm down below in path of his other worm, but the direct damage there of the uh, initial worm um, kills that worm instantly. The fall damage and everything else that went off around it reduced the other worm down to only three, but the explosion damage of 25 finishes that worm off well and truly, and Deathwish 808 takes a very strong advantage in this match. So down to a three on one here in favor of a Deathwish 808, and is there any way back for a load of crap here? Only time will tell. Um, he has... a attack Deathwish's high worm here that was a direct shot leaving him only on at 10 health so 
if that worm doesn't get to go next, then a load of crap could quite easily bring this down to a two-on-one. Unfortunately, no, for a load of crap, it is that worm that gets to go next for Deathwish 808. And you can only imagine that Deathwish is going to blow this worm into oblivion and somewhere down the right-hand side of this map with his bazooka. The wind is against him, but that's really not going to matter from this sort of range. Still got 10 minutes left on the match timer. Almost halfway through the shot here for Deathwish 808. He really doesn't want to mess this one up. Doesn't actually blast that worm as far over to the right-hand side as I thought he might. And I think now what we're going to see from a load of crap is a grenade shot that sort of sits in that gap. Anywhere around that worm is going to finish it off and bring this down to a two-on-one. I'd be very surprised if he pulls out a bazooka here. I think definitely a grenade would be the way to go. Although it's very... It's a very precarious angle to get a grenade in there. You just have to really loft it up. He's going for the bazooka shot. Only eight damage, though. Um, the only saving grace for a load of crap right now is that uh, he knows that that worm is not going to have a retaliation strike. So let's see what Deathwish can do here. Is it possible that he can fire a bazooka shot underneath those mines and almost flick them up in the path of a load of crap here let's see how it pans out and what he actually can do it looks like that is the sort of shot he's going for he's got to be careful that the mines don't fall back down and onto this worm it'd be very interesting to see how he decides to play this i think he's changing his mind here as to what he wants to do maybe t going for the same thing but from the other side is maybe a safer play Looks like he's just going to try and tunnel his way over. But um, keep an eye out on the developments of that worm underneath the map and see what he is going to come up with. A load of crap here should really take this worm of death wishes to the cleaners. He only has two health anywhere remotely near. He's going to finish him off. There we go, 42. He is done and dusted, and we are two on one right here as uh, things are starting to get very, very spicy indeed. We know this worm on the right-hand side of the map here for Deathwish can't really get into the action. Um, we thought on previous turns that he was trying to open up a gap at the top to maybe get involved somehow, but definitely uh, the first shot failed, but the second wasn't maybe what he intended, but it certainly worked nonetheless as the grenade actually falls back onto Deathwish. He has to take evasive action towards the left, takes three damage, uh, unfortunately for Deathwish there, and he's pretty much um, put his worm in a difficult situation in as much that he's taken out that area he was stood on, and that's going to limit his angles down for that worm dramatically, definitely. A load of crap here, I think, is just going to use his bazooka here just to try and open up an area to, to that worm of Deathwish's on the right-hand side. Let's see what... He can actually do here just taking away a little chunk of geometry that's good i mean we know for a fact that this worm underneath for death wish 808 isn't going to be able to attack the worm for a load of crap so the game of chess has begun worms chess has begun and we'll see how strategic this is going to get and uh, how the two players decide to play this out in the end Deathwish just taking out geometry. Um, not really sure why he's doing that, but he is nonetheless. I'm sure he has his reasons. These players are a lot more seasoned pros at Worms than I am myself, so I really shouldn't question their uh, judgment and character on some of these shots as uh, a load of crap is taking his Worm all the way to the far edge here of that right central platform. Sorry, to the right of that central platform. I'm just going to try and chip away a little bit of the area here at Deathwish 808. Maybe another shot there. If Deathwish Worm is there, maybe another shot through the worm, the wall there may trigger that explosive barrel, um, which could be catastrophic for a Deathwish's Worm, who he moves further away to the right. He still has an angle here to go high, and Deathwish wisely is going to get rid of this barrel before it inflicts any more damage on himself. But that does open up an opportunity now and an open area for a load of crap to potentially try and get something in there it's not going to be an easy shot by any means but we know a load of crap is certainly more than capable of making some tricky shots seven minutes 20 left on the match clock here and uh, this is the sort of match that could quite easily go down to sudden death we'll have to wait and see how everything plays out here as he takes out a little bit more of the uh, surrounding area and that golf buggy there. 
Considering the uh, the calibre of the players, we've not had many matches so far since we've been commentating that have gone to a sudden death situation. Um, a lot of, even when we thought they have, they've... Oh, and Deathwish tries to jump the mine. It was a big, big mistake to jump the mine. It backfires, it goes off, and that actually damages Deathwish's worm right there and potentially puts him in a precarious position. A load of crap here could just drop down a grenade on Deathwish's head, and that could be the end of it. He's got his bazooka out. Make sure you swap to the grenade. I'm sure you will. A load of crap. Two second timer. It's dropped down, and that is out of here. He is dead, and we are down to one on one, and the game of chess continues. A big chunk of scenery between the two players now, with only a few little holes. What can Deathwish do? He is moving his worm about and repositioning here. Is he going to jump across? Or is he going to? Does he think he's got a grenade, uh, a bazooka shot here? I think he does. The wind is with him. He's thinking against it now. Maybe he's going to just chip away at some of the area a little bit below him instead. And then drop his worm back into that area. He's got quite a bit, uh, quite a nice little safety net here in that a load of crap is very restricted in the angle. Um, he can actually play the shot. So what a load of crap could do here, wind, wind permitting, is he could potentially get rid of that scenery just in between him and uh, to the side of Deathwish there, which would really open that up, but then that would expose his worm to a retaliation shot from Deathwish the next time around. So it's maybe not the best thing he can do. He really doesn't have a lot of angles for grenade shots. I think he's got to stick with the bazooka here. He could almost do with getting rid of that sort of little area of scenery just underneath the golf bag but um i think that would potentially open up some better angles for him but of course he's not going to want to do that is Deathwish going to potentially play for that he's got the win with him i think he's just going to keep chipping away here at a load of at the platform a load of crap is stood on because that is really going to limit him down as to what he can and can't do Deathwish not able there to take his worm as far back to the right as he has done on previous shots, unfortunately. So he has left himself slightly more open this time around. But I don't think a load of crap can get now far enough to the right, unfortunately, to be able to uh, have a shot at Deathwish's worm. Opening up some scenery towards the top. Maybe he's going to look to do an aerial barrage here. Uh, instead of, um, he clearly can't go anywhere from the bottom. Deathwish, again, just trying to chip away at some of that scenery and um, wasn't able to backflip back up to safety. Has that put left that worm in a precarious position? Let's find out as a load of crap comes to take his turn here. How far down can he go and is there enough of an angle here to hit Deathwish's worm or the scenery? Looks like there are some pixels there that he can send them, but I think he's, he's thinking better of it. I think he's going to continue his uh, aerial assault here, taking away some of this scenery above Deathwish so that he can potentially go for some higher shots here. Deathwish now. Let's see what he can do. He's been chipping away and he's... Oh, I thought he was going to fall down there and potentially land on that mine. That was almost catastrophic, but now he has a very good angle on a load of crap. It's gone high, though. It's rainbowed across and... Um, Deathwish has left his worm in a very dangerous position indeed. What can a load of crap do from here? I think he could, wind permitting, he can get, definitely get a direct bazooka shot here. I don't think he even has to move much. He actually takes out some of the high, high ground there from Deathwish, uh, getting rid of some of that golf buggy. And... Um, we're a long way off sudden death yet, so the, the height position here, the vertical position of the worms, really isn't going to make too much of a difference here. I'm not really sure what death wishes can do from here. He can, might be able to... He might have an angle. I think he believes he does, but he takes out some of that geometry. And just in the nick of time, gets that worm down. I thought for a moment... Um, he was going to forget to move the worm there and that would have put him in a very dangerous position especially with that mine just the other side of that destroyed golf cart just there a load of crap now 
with a retaliation on the bazooka should be able to hit death wish this time you would think big shot from a load of crap and double damage i think that's going to be enough and he's in the water that is it that is the game what a comeback from a load of crap let's take a look at the match winning shot what an unexpected way to end up the map a load of crap shot direct onto Deathwish just about and then flings him over to the right where that mine was disrupted and bouncing around and then Deathwish's worm takes a slippy slidey trip down into the pond and that is the end of the match a load of crap taking today's series with one still left to play we may be done and dusted in terms of tonight's overall winner, but we have still got one more match to play. It's match number three here between Deathwish and a load of crap. And we have got the pond scenario to finish us off tonight. A load of crap with three worms on the left. Deathwish throws the grenade straight into the pond, which is an absolute uh, perfect way to start the new map, especially when uh, Deathwish is going to be looking here to try and claw back in the form of a worm bonus he really needs to uh, survive with quite a few worms and win the match here to be able to eat into a load of craps lead here uh, a load of crap now unbeaten in four matches so far in this march series who uh, tries to rainbow a bazooka shot up and over to the other side of the map it doesn't quite work but yeah unbeaten in four with an average of two worms remaining per match a load of crap really is hot out of the blocks here Deathwish with the cross map bazooka shot there is our first casualty into the drink it's for a load of crap and uh, there is fire on that shoe and it's going to rain down you would have you would think on a load of crap some of it causing some extra damage here let's see how this next shot plans out for a load of crap he is able to move the worm so that should at least put him in a bit of safety the smoke though makes it a little bit hard to see exactly where the top of that golf shoe is i'm sure he'll know where to uh, aim for though as he pulls out the bazooka one wind against him in this shot possibly going to go for death wishes low left worm he doesn't beautiful shot all the way across to the other side of the map unfortunately the fire has sent his worm on a catastrophic fire damage meanwhile on the other side of the map so there's a big explosion and death wish sees a worm into the drink we are three on three the action coming thick and fast here a load of craps worm down to 15 a load of death wish is just going to do a through the wall shot and that is going to be the end of that we are now three on two this action is happening ever so quickly it's hard to be able to keep up on everything that is going on but Deathwish here with two worms, 238 plays, a uh, load of craps, 159, with uh, the fire finally going out on this left-hand side of the map. A load of crap, though, is not left with a lot of options. He can maybe thread this one through. What a shot from a load of crap. Pinpoint accuracy to the other side of the map. Unfortunately for him, though, there just wasn't that, that lip isn't low enough. It's too shallow and Deathwish's worm survives, but that was a valiant effort there from a load of crap. Deathwish is going to have his work cut out from here, though. There isn't really an easy route in here to fire any uh, bazooka or grenades, so let's see what he can come up with from this position. It's down. It's a nice shot. It bounces off Plinko style into the bottom, and that is a good shot from Deathwish 808 with the 31 damage on a load of crap. A load of crap's going to be playing with his high worm here. Maybe a rep repetition here. Maybe he can go all the way across to the other side of the map. The wind is looking good. He can do something with one wind against him. Going to be a bazooka shot. Good power, but unfortunately he catches the ceiling. And um, that is that. Deathwish now, high right worm, rainbowed across the map, beautiful, and makes a load of craps worms say hello to each other. That's going to make things very, very interesting going forward. Both them worms together, no chance of escape. I, I think there's still a slight bit of wall on that right-hand side of that pit there. And I don't think a load of crap is going to be able to escape over here. He's going to check it out anyway. Uh, I think he knows that he can't. He's going to go for the high worm here, I think. 
the wind is against him. He just needs to get the power and the angle right. Just enough power just so as it stops going up, it, the wind then takes it towards the left. He's thinking about which way is going to be best to do this. He's halfway through his shot here. But there is no rush. He's got to be careful that the mine doesn't drop down though onto his two worms down here. That could be catastrophic. Almost tell on the shot. The shot is taken. And as we rightly predicted, look. The mine is down in between the two worms. And that could be the end. That could be the end. Could the death animation see off this worm? It is. The death animation is going to be 25. Deathwish wins the final match here with three worms remaining. A load of crap there, seeing really undecisive of what he wanted to do. And then we noticed at the last minute as he was about to take the shot that there was that mine right up there. It takes an awkward bounce off the golf ball and is catapulted right down onto his own worm. The timer allows it to land just right in between and then hits both of his worms. And then both of his worms land in exactly the same position. And you know what's going to happen there. The death animation from the one worm that was killed originally is going to kill the other. And that hands Deathwish the game without even have to take in another shot. What an exciting end to the action from the 2nd of March. Let's see what effect that has on the league table so far. A load of crap still with the lead here he takes both of the series so far with that eight worm bonus puts him on 12 points a massive eight points ahead of Deathwish. Deathwish has got to be happy though with that three worm bonus he picked up from that last game to reduce that deficit a little tiny bit it could have been a lot more than it was but uh, i'm sure Deathwish has lots of time left in march to come back at a load of crap Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. We'll be back real soon with yet more Worms Reloaded action. But until then, thank you very much and good night.